Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story. And today we're in Carlisle, Pennsylvania at the Carlisle Events. And with that, we're at the Chrysler Nationals. And I met Paul. Paul, what's your last name? Vini. Paul Vini. And Paul, well, there was a bunch of Super Bs side by side by side, but yours, well, a little special. What does yours have? First of all, what year? Mine is a 1970 Hemi, 426 Hemi four speed. <laughs> So you have all the toys, the 426 and the pistol grip shifter. Correct. Oh, what an amazing car. How long have you had it? I've had the car for 20 years this year. Why this car out of all the cars in the world? I always wanted to have me all my life. Just so happens when I saw this car here 20 years ago, what caught my eye initially about it was the black and the blue, which was my high school colors. And with that being said, step right alongside me. Come right over here, over here. And let's take a look at this car. So with that being said, black and blue, I'm sure this has made a lot of cars black and blue in the race days because that little be is angry. Let's take a look at this up close. So Paul, stand right next to me because here's a microphone. Sure. So what are some of the, did, does this car ever been restored? Tell me a little bit about this car. When I got this car, it was partially restored. It had a lot of optional things on it that weren't stuck to the car. And I did a lot of research, spent a lot of money getting it back to the what it looked like the day it left the factory, including the uh, resonators on the exhaust system and everything else that came with the car as it was built. You know, one of that, that what do they call that, a split grill? Or? Yeah, it's a 70, only unique to 70 Coronet uh, so Super Bs. That's a one year. One year split. So with that being said, let's take a look at the side of this car. What's the body style in this? What do they call it? A it's actually a considered, it's in the Coronet family, but Super B is a part of the Coronet family. So the Super B was the optional high grade and one of the big options, of course, was the Hemi engine. Correct. And the C-stripe self-explanatory on the seat. Correct. They, now, only, they only produced 21 of these. So. The important part, right there. Now, was it 21 total Hemis, or was it 21 Hemis with four speeds? Hemi four speeds. Hemi they, four they, speeds. they produced a total of 32 Hemi cars, 21 four speeds, 10 automatics. So there aren't many of these at all? Correct. How many do you see other than yours? I only know of right now, including this one, that six left that exist that I know of. Wow. Let me show the back of this car. You know, there's really a nice back end of this car. It has wonderful balance. The tail lights, that centerpiece panel, and then with the just offset little B is wonderful. Can we open the trunk? We have a few treats for them in the trunk. And I'll show you the B has like a little engine connected to them with the exhaust ports. So first of all, you can see how clean this car is. Spectacular. And some period correct ads. Dodge introduces a new model, the Super B. And I'll pause that so you can read those highlights. I'll pause that. Here's the night. Now, was this the factory brochure, or what was this brochure that we're looking at? It's one of the factory brochures for this car. Illustrated facts and features manual. Be very careful. I'm gonna go just like this so you can see it a little better. Like so. Some of the hubcap and wheel options. Now obviously besides the Hemi engine, what type of options do we have here? This car has what they call Super Track Pack rear end. It's a Dana 60 410 gear ratio rear end, rally dash, um, AM FM radio, uh, rally wheels. And that's some of the, some of the options. So it's, it's nice, the, uh, the radio option with the Hemi. Your engine. And it does not have power steering. 
no power steering. Power disc brakes were standard on this car. So we show the different engines, the 383, the 4 barrel 383, the 4 barrel 440, the 383, and last and not least, the 446 pack. And lastly, what we see here today, the 426 Hemi V8. Some optional transmissions. I really enjoy when we get the chance to kind of have this treat in the trunk because it really brings you back to that time frame of what it was like. And hood pins were also optional. Hood pins were optional. Here's some of the equipment. You can see the different cars. Some of the sales codes, which I'm guessing those codes are the same codes that are on the VIN tag? Correct. Okay, or the fender tag, I should say. So that's where you get those codes from. And the power. People can hopefully pause on those. Your accessory groups. One of the brochures that I like as well. Is this one here? Here's your scat pack. Now your car has this. Yes. So here's your scat pack. Or scat packages as they're calling it. And lastly. Here's your 1970 Dodge Coronet. Wonderful 1970s look with your car right there. The Super B. Let's take a look at the interior, shall we? We can shut that trunk. Go ahead. So right off the bat, I want to show that in the door sill right here. Here's when our car was built. You can see we've got the bench seat as the sun hits that. Lots of room. The pedals, the all important first pistol grip. Shifter, just like that, to grab a hold of. They call that the tic tac. Tic tac, exactly. Tic tac, uh, tic tac tac, is it? Yes. Okay. Yeah, that's part of the uh, rally package dash. 150 mile an hour speedometer. Let me take a look at that. The mileage on this is 43,000. That's correct. That's original miles. Yes. Wow. Paul, this car looks brand spanking new. I mean, it looks like it rolled off the showroom. Interesting, nothing on the inside. Obviously, you've got floor mats that say Super B, but nothing on the inside that says Super B or Cornette. No. Yeah, okay, so that's just the way it was. Yes. And let me just show people what that looks like from your angle as you're driving. Perfect roof liner. And I do want to go to the other side before we open the hood. I'll tell you what, I'll let you open the hood because I want to show that window sticker of yours. I need to explain something to you about that too. Okay, come on over. Tell me about this. That window sticker is a reproduction sticker. Okay. All the facts and figures about the car are correct. The only thing that isn't correct is the dealer because I'm not exactly sure where the original dealer was. Got and it. I put my hometown dealer on there. There you go. Just okay. To, just but everything put, here is everything is factory correct. Just like the your way car. it came from the factory, exactly. Beautiful. All right. Thanks for sharing that. And we have the sun position just right. The functional RAM charger scoops. So how, does that work off a of vacuum, or does it work all no, just off of airflow? It works on cables. You open it up with a cable. And the cables on the inside? Under the dash. Okay. 
Yep. And you you open it open it up and the air flows air flows down through. Okay. Comes down and feeds the air into the air, into the air cleaner. Have you ever banged your head on that? No. Okay. All right. <laughs> then I won't be the first. No, I <laughs> All right. It's faintly autographed by Tom Hoover. His right there. Right there. Tom Hoover, the father of the Hemi, who passed away here just the last couple of years. Mm. He autographed that engine for me. All the right hose clamps. Yes. All the right hose markings. How long is this labor of love to get this car back to the way it is? Well, it was an ongoing project for several years until I got it where it is now. Wow. What's the reaction of people when you... Uh, first of all, let me turn that around. I see yeah, I have it upside down. That's the way the, the fender tag is on like that. Okay, so that's that way. The majority of the people that see this car have never seen one before. They've just never seen one. they just never seen one. Has this car ever been videoed before? Yes. Yes, okay, all right. So there's another video of this car. There, yeah, there's several. It's been on different people I've videoed. A couple of people shows. Oh, yeah. All right, great. Well, we're going to be a couple of people, too. <laughs> Show me where that pull is for the hood, hood, if you would. If you look right at the dash, you'll see an orange knob that says carb. Yeah, show me. I see it. I see it. I missed it, but I'm not missing it now. That's for the air. And there's another knob next to it. Silver knob? Yeah. That's for the speaker's fade front to back. Gotcha. Okay. All right. I appreciate that. I don't. Take your time, we go All right, so let's uh, let's start it up for just a moment. We'll let it idle. We'll give it a little rev. Listen to it, I don't please. Paul, could you step on the brakes for a second? Thank you, that was perfect. Give a one rev, please. Maybe one more. <laughs> All right, we'll shut that down. <laughs> that's all right. When I come home smelling like high octane gas, that's a good day. All right, we'll shut that door. Stay right there. If people like what they see, subscribe to the channel. Paul, what a treat. What a great car. Such an honor to do this car. Thanks for being on my car stand. Thank you.